Hey guys, Herbeas007 here, back with another video. Uh, this is a pickups video. Uh, I think it's 109 off the top of my head. Uh, cheers. Yeah, this is the third time I'm trying to record this. My camera is being an absolute dick today. So I just formatted everything and reset it all. Fingers crossed this to, you'll be seeing this and I'm not fucking throwing the camera out the window. So I'm not the most patient of people. But yes, um, uh, only about a week or so after... Um, let's move you a touch. There we go. Uh, not, yeah, about a week or so after I did the last pickups vid, I think. Um, yeah, that one was pretty big and pretty long. So I thought I won't leave it quite as long now because, um, yeah, I don't really like doing half an hour videos. A bit too long in my opinion. So um, I try and keep this one down to 10-15 uh, minutes or whatever. But yeah, I uh, hope everyone's good. Uh, excuse me. Thank you to any new subscribers. Uh, yeah, I'm doing the video as well because the house is empty. The missus has taken the kids to see the Jungle Book uh, with all our nieces and nephews and um, her mum and all. So I let them carry on. Uh, yeah, I thought I could play some games and make a video, which is all good. So yeah, um, I'll show you some stuff. Um, firstly, I've had this one a little while, can't remember exactly where I got it, but um, it's a game I need. Uh, it's cart only at the minute, so I need the case and manual. But that's um, Mario vs Donkey Kong Miniland Mayhem. So yeah, happy to have that one. Uh, I think I ended up getting it for like a quid. So yeah, that's all good. Um, two more DS games that I think I've completely forgotten to show. Uh, these were off one of the um, gaming groups on Facebook. I can't remember which one. Game of Paradise, probably. I'm not sure. But um, I think I ended up getting these for 25 the pair. And this was a little while ago as well. So I think um, this first one probably shot up in price since then. But um, it's uh, Pokemon White version 2. So another one off the list, um, yeah, it's all nice and complete and great nick. So happy to have that one. And the other one was Space Invaders Extreme. Looks like a really good game. Lots of different um, little mini sort of mini games. Again, all nice and complete. Really happy to get that one as well. Um, this was another raffle win. Uh, it only arrived uh, in the last few days. Uh, I can't even remember how much it cost me. Probably about three quid or something. Not a lot. Um, but that is Pokemon X. Now this is a spare copy. So yeah, I mean most of the stuff in this video is to sell and trade on. Just because there is specific things I want. Um, which, yeah, which is yeah kind of why I'm doing the video. Because most of this stuff will be gone pretty quickly. You know, just to get funds back and, like I say, get things I actually want. So, um, yeah, this one's all nice and complete. So that should be a nice bit of uh, money towards... I'm trying not to say the things I want to buy because I want it to, you know, you to see it first on video. If that makes sense. Um, I forgot to show this as well in my uh, last pickups video. Um, the awesome package I had from Danny also included this absolutely quality Link figure. Um, he's, he's a little bit like the World of Nintendo figure. I don't think it's a World of Nintendo figure, Danny, is it? Tell me if I'm wrong. But he, um, yeah, he's got his uh, sword and his shield. And he looks badass on my shelf up there. So, yeah, thanks again, Danny. That package was fucking awesome, mate. Very much appreciated. Um, I picked up some DS games in my local uh, local town. There's one, two, three. There's nine of them, and um, I ended up paying a tenner for the nine. Obviously, just over a quid a game, which I thought was a decent deal. Um, I think if I trade them all in, it's like nearly twenty quid trade credit in CEX. Uh, but I think I'll probably end up keeping a few. Uh, for, for the kids as much as anything. Uh, they're all complete so I won't show you in all of them but there's um, 
Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. These aren't amazing titles or anything, but um, I thought it was a fair price. Sims 2 Castaway. There's uh, Madagascar, probably one of the ones I'll keep because the kids love the film. There's uh, The Chronicles of Narnia, Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. There's Bratz Forever Diamonds, which I actually think my daughter's got. High School Musical, which is worth a whopping 10 pence in CEX. So I, might, I think the kids have already got that one as well, so I'll probably just harvest the case actually. Uh, Happy Feet. Uh, Doctor Who, Evacuation Earth, and the one that I'll definitely be keeping is Spyro Shadow Legacy. Do you like me some Spyro games? Uh, yeah, all complete, obviously, like I said, but um, happy to have that one. Uh, big Spyro fan. Okay, I'll show you uh, Mega Drive. Um, there's a lady that I've got stuff off a lot of times now. Uh, she's called Vanessa. She lives uh, about 10 minutes away. Picked this up yesterday and since then she's already found some more stuff. She's basically she's sort of cleaning out her loft gradually. Uh, I've had loads of Wii stuff off her in the past. I had a DS off her I think. And um, every time I say to her, oh is that it now? And she says, oh yeah, yeah that's definitely it now. And literally within a couple of days she posts up something else. And I always say to her, you know, just message me straight away. Because she puts it on our kind of local gaming site. Lucky I've managed to snag everything she's put on there so far. Because there's a lot of vultures on there, me included. But, um, yeah. Anyway. And there's a Wii game from her as well. So this was three quid. All um, really good nick and complete. And that's Twilight Princess on the Wii. Don't think this sells for a lot, to be honest now, but... I might even put it in the cupboard for a few years and uh, hopefully the value will go up. But anyway, I've got that one for three quid. Thought that was a good price. And then I've got what, one, two, three, four, five Mega Drive games. Um, now these are from a loft, as I say, so they need a really good clean. Um, I think the first two are missing the manuals and they're all slightly rough. But once I've cleaned them up, I'm hoping they'll be all good. So we've got obviously the classic Sonic. And you can see a bit of, uh, almost like a little bit of mould. But I'm hoping the majority of it will come off. So we've got obviously awesome Sonic. We've got Sonic 2. We've got the awesome uh, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Which is probably one of the better shaped ones really. We've got Ms Pac-Man. A bit of a ding on the side there. And we have Sonic Spinball. Which uh, the case won't stay shut on this one. But yeah, those five I paid three quid each. So £15 for the five. Didn't think that was bad. Um, I spoke to Pete Armour quickly and um, he seemed to think they were worth about 30 So hopefully double my money on those. Once I've cleaned them up and they're all good. So, um, yeah, happy with those. Um, I'll do that separately. Picked up this game today, or rather the wife and my daughter did. The wife went to um, pay some bills in the next town on because, yeah, that's where we pay them. And um, me and Archie took uh, the dog for a walk. So she very kindly picked this up for me. I uh, managed to get this for a fiver. Don't know a lot about it, to be honest, but um, this is definitely to keep and play. And I'll probably be playing it after I've done this video, to be honest. But that's um, Air Conflicts Vietnam Ultimate Edition. And yeah, this was a fiver. Uh, there's a little little nick there on the case. The, the actual cover's fine. And uh, it's all complete. So yeah, I mean, I don't know a lot about this game. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's a shooter, obviously. But um, yeah, please, please with that PS4 game for a fiver. Pretty cool. That, yeah, we'll do in one lot. Uh, picked up one Game Boy Advance game. This again was from one of the um, various gaming sites I'm on on Facebook. Uh, I think originally the lad wanted 15 quid, which um, I think is a 
probably a really going rate on eBay and uh, and stuff. But um, I offered twelve, and he took it, and it's in really good nick, apart from a little bit of scuffing on one edge. Uh, but that's Donkey Kong Country Two. You can see the just there. The colours come away a bit, but it's all you know, 100% complete. Real nice nick. Uh, I've got the I've got Donkey Kong Country One on the GBA, so I'll be after three to get the set, obviously. And um, yeah, really happy to have that one. He packaged it really well, actually. Flattened the box down. Um, yeah, so that was spot on. It's even got the bag in everything for the cart. So happy to have that one. Um, managed to get. If you saw my last pickups vid. You'll saw the you will have seen so the N64 bundle I got, and one of the games I got to keep was Lilac Wars. Now, um, if you've seen my channel before, you will know that I love my box protectors. All my box games I want box protectors for, uh, and most of them actually now have. I think I've got some more in the post, which should be arriving today actually. But um, yeah, I managed to find a box protector for Lilac Wars. Um, it's quite expensive, I think the only ones I could find they were selling in sort of lots of three and I think I paid 15 quid for the three but um, as far as I know I think Mario Paint is the same size as this so and that is something that I'm after, the big box for that so uh, anyway yeah it's um, really good quality and um, yeah looks better because all my, like I say all my other N64 games uh, are inbox protectors, so I, I think this looks the nuts with them personally and um, protects it as well, which is cool. And staying on that theme, um, this is kind of two pickups in one, really, because I also managed to find box protectors for my big box GameCube games, and this big box is new to me as well, and that's um, Zelda Four Sword Adventure or Four Swords Adventure I should say uh, which is awesome because I had the game found the game locally cheap last year or the year before and um, yeah now I've managed to get the big box I just need the um, the link cable I actually need two link cables because I've got my Crystal Chronicles box over there which hasn't got a link cable in either but anyway um, yeah uh, these they're not quite as thick as the uh, one for Lilac Wars but um, they definitely do a job because the trouble with that I can see with these uh, the GameCube big boxes is that the top sort of bows a bit and the sides push out but these are kind they kind of help them hold their shape which is really cool so um, yeah this is in pretty good nick I think I paid 20 quid for the box or 25 quid for the box which I know is expensive but um, a complete one of these is getting ridiculous in price now Hopefully it's not too glary and you can actually see. Uh, yeah, there is, there is a few sort of marks on it, but as I say, I'm, I'm just really happy to have this. Excuse me. And once, I think I paid a tenner for the game last year or something like that. So I mean, 35, 10 for the link cables, 45 quid. I'll have myself a complete big box for Sword Adventures. So yeah, and the actual box protectors, I got five of them because as far as I know, there's five big boxes for the cube. Um, I'm sure I'll be told if I'm wrong but there's this one, I've got Crystal Chronicles, I've got Mario Party 6 so I'm just missing Mario Party 7 and Odama I think tell me if I'm wrong please but I think that's the only five power ones or English power ones so yeah I'm, I'm definitely after Mario Party 7 because I only need Mario Party 7 and Mario Party 2 now and that's all the Mario Party games done and dusted uh, yeah and my last um, pickups is here so um, I was on my local items for sale yesterday oh no we're Tuesday today it must have been Sunday night um, yeah Sunday night I was kind of um, the missus went to sleep early so I was kind of on the tablet in bed just scrolling through stuff it was quite late it was probably like half twelve one in the morning something like that and somebody had just put a load of PS3 games on my local items for sale, so I, I messaged him straight away. I, I, I sort of immed and ammed. I thought, well, sh I don't really want to message him because I don't want to wake him up and annoy him. But I thought, sod it, you know, hopefully his phone will be on silent if he is asleep. Anyway, it turned out that he was awake <laughs> and um, 
I managed to sort of pick through, well that was separately actually, pick through uh, all his PS3 games and get a good price for them, I think. Oh, obviously I've got a little bit of knowledge about PS3, but um, I was happy with the price I paid anyway. Uh, but this first one is a completely different story to that actually. This is from um, a girl who's got a, a child in the same class as my lad Fred. Uh, I managed to get this for a fiver and that's um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Danger of the Ooze. Picked it up for a fiver as I say, all complete. I know it goes for like a tenner or more so that one's a recouper as I've got this one already. So that's cool. But yeah, the rest of these are from the same guy. Now originally he wanted... Doo -doo 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 -doo, the first three he wanted seven quid or eight quid for, but I managed to get each one for a fiver, so I spent 30 quid on these six games. Uh, and they are Lego Jurassic World. They're all complete as well, I won't show you all more. They are Lego Harry Potter years five to seven. Uh, the Lego Movie video game. Sims 3 Pets, Back to the Future, which has already gone to um, a friend of Moxie's, uh, so I've got to post that one today. And this one that I didn't have, uh, for the, this will go in the collection, that's Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations. Now I'm really happy to get these, I know a 5 reach isn't probably the cheapest, but uh, they're all worth around a tenner. So, you know, that'll work out being free and I'll make a few quid on top from my PayPal account so um, I'll be able to, um, you know, buy those things I'm on about that I want. And, um, yeah, this, a bit more of a story with these. The guy had quite a few bits and bobs for sale. He also had a silver PS3 controller. Um, I messaged him about that and I said, um, oh, can I get the controller as well? He said, well, I've got someone coming to pick it up already. Um, if they don't come, I'll let you know. Um, so, yeah, you know, I was polite. Rule number one, as we know, always be polite. I said, oh, no, you know, not to worry. Uh, thanks for the games. Great deal, blah, blah, blah. Lo and behold, uh, a couple hours later, I messaged him. I just said, um, oh, you know, thanks for the games. All good. Kids are enjoying them, blah, blah, blah. Um, did the girl come and pick up the silver PS3 controller? And he said, well, no, I haven't actually heard from her since. Would you like it? And I was like, yes. Because I've been after a silver PS3 controller for a long time. I've got red, white, and black. And now, thanks to the no-shower, I have a silver one. Uh, this was a fiver, like I say. So, um, really nice condition, apart from a couple of nicks out of the thumbsticks. But I've actually got some spare thumbsticks, so I'll probably change them over. Yeah, beautiful condition. I'm really happy to have a silver one. As I'm trying to collect the different uh, variants of colour PS3 controllers. Because I need to be collecting more things, obviously. So so that's it, yeah. Probably waffled for longer than I should have. But um, definitely a trimmed down version to the last video I did. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's me done. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to sell this lot on pretty quick and um, show you the stuff that I really want to get in the collection. But yeah, happy with what I've found. Uh, not found anything sort of much for a while really locally. And then it all comes at once. So yeah, it always pays to keep looking and keep um, keep plodding on, looking through all the sites and you know, eventually it does pay off. So there we go. Uh, that's me done. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Cheers.